Hi everyone, it's CH Simmer, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I am doing a tier list for all the Sims 4 DLCs. I've seen a couple other people doing this, including The Sim Supply and Iron Seagull, so I'll leave their videos in the description below. Okay, so I have this separated into um, six categories. Must have, great, okay, meh, bad, and horrible. And we have all the packs down here. So I'm going to separate them into my opinions on each pack, how much I enjoy them. And I will explain why I enjoy them or don't enjoy them as much. Let's get started. Alright, so let's start with the expansion packs. So the first pack is the Sims 4 Get to Work. I would probably put this pack at a meh because it's still a good pack. I use a lot of the build items in it and the interactive careers are okay. I personally like the scientist one the best because I haven't tried the other ones, but I would have heard by other people the other ones aren't as good or are terrible. But um, I don't think it's as low as some people would put it. Okay, so the second one is The Sims 4 Get Together. Now I would probably put this at a bad because I never use this pack. Probably the only thing I ever use out of it is the clubs and maybe Windenburg. But it's definitely not worth the $40 if this is your first pack or if you're not if you're not looking to get many packs. I would definitely um, tell you to buy ones that are in the must-have or the great because those, you know, are, in my opinion, the best packs in the game. Alright, the next one is The Sims 4 City Living. I would put this at a great because I use this pack almost every time I play the um, festivals and San Myshuno are amazing. Um, even with seasons, the San Myshuno looks even better. Um, but I really like living in apartments, and this pack gave us apartments in the game, and I would definitely recommend, if you are going to get an expansion pack, this might be one that you might look into getting. Okay, so the next one is The Sims 4 Cats and Dogs, and I'll put you... Or I'll put this at the same level as City Living because I use Brindleton Bay and everything a lot. The only thing that doesn't make it a must-have is that animals can be sometimes annoying in the game because it's like they're really needy. So if you have too many, like more than one pet in your household. It's going to take up the majority of your time to take care of those pets. But otherwise, all the furniture, the world, everything in this pack is perfect, great. Okay. Next is The Sims 4 Seasons, which should go on a must-have. I love this pack. I feel like every Simmer, this is a must-have for them. If you're going to get one expansion pack in the game, I would suggest you get seasons because it just brings a lot more opportunities for families and for any type of simmer because you can have rain thunderstorms winter summer and it even brings out personalities of your sims more and you can do a lot more things outside like build snowmen shovel shovel the yard or even do that stuff which connects with a lot of packs and enchants enhances more of these other packs that might have not might not have been good in the beginning including like spooky stuff okay so the last expansion pack is the sims 4 get famous which i'll put at a great so the sims 4 get famous you could get your sims famous like the title implies but um i really 
a lot of people complain about the size of Del Sol Valley, and I can probably agree the I would like it to be a bigger size, but it's okay for me because I really like the concept of getting famous and even being like a vlogger or a YouTuber in the game can be really fun because you can just, it's like basic life and it really enhances your gameplay if you're looking for that kind of style of a game. Okay, so the fur now we're going to go into game packs. So the first game pack is the Sim 4 Outdoor Retreat. A lot of people are meh about this pack because it was the first game pack, but I would probably put it at an okay because I really like going camping in the game. It's a fun family type experience for Sim families, and there's a lot to do there. All right, so the second one is the Sims 4 Spot A. Spot A, I probably put at a bad, because I probably went to the spa like once. The only thing good about this pack is probably the build items, which I don't use as much as I probably should. Okay, the third game pack is um, Dine Out, and I would probably put this at a meh, because Running a restaurant is probably the most fun part of this pack, but the whole going to restaurants thing takes a long time and it takes like at least five sim hours. And you know, they need to fix that in The Sims 5 because that's not okay. All right, so the fourth one is The Sims 4 Vampires, which since it's my opinion, I'm allowed to put it wherever I want. So I'm putting this at a horrible. I've never used this pack probably once. I hate vampires in the game. It's like, ugh, icky. I really like family, like I've um, been saying on my speed build voiceovers. Um, I really like family gameplay. I hate occults. It's just not what I came to The Sims looking to play for because it's a life simulation. Okay, so the next pack is Parenthood. I would put this at a great. A lot of people would put it at a must-have, but I'm putting it at a great because I don't use it as much as like other packs like Seasons and stuff, but I definitely put it above these other packs, so I'll put it in front. But it really gives a big family experiences, and you can do a lot like character values, and you can like... It's really like everyday life when you're a child. It gives sim children and toddlers more of a childhood. And here's last year's game pack, The Sims 4 Jungle Adventure. I would probably put this at the same as Outdoor Retreat, maybe a little bit better. So if I can put it in front. Yeah, the jungle's really fun in the game. You can do a lot of stuff. It's really realistic. Like, you cut through the bushes and you can get sick. And exploring the temples are really fun, too. And the build items are great. Like, a lot of the build items, both of these packs, like Jungle Adventure and Outdoor Retreat, they both are really woodworky and look kind of homemade, so it's really fun to put in some, like, cabin-type houses. Okay, so the last game pack for The Sims is Strangerville. I personally do not like Strangerville, so I would probably put this pack at a meh, because it's okay. I really like all the build items in it and the concept of it. it I just don't enjoy doing it all the time. It's more of like a one-and-done type of game pack. Okay, now we're getting into the stuff packs, which there are a lot of. So this will be very, very spread out. Okay, so the first stuff pack to be released for The Sims 4 is Luxury Party Stuff. And I would probably put this at a bad. Because the stuff is really good for weddings, party outfits... Um, the cast is really good for party outfits, and but you can't really do anything with this pack. The interactive um, object is just like the fountain, like the drinking fountain. 
Okay. So the next one is perfect patio stuff, which people don't really seem to like, but I would probably put that at an okay, because I use this pack quite a lot, because I love hot tubs in the game, I love all the stuff that comes in the packs, and I probably use it in, like, a majority of my houses. Okay, so the next one is cool kitchen stuff, which I would probably put at a meh, because I like a lot of things like the ice cream, um, the ice cream in the game, and, um, I'm a fan of, like, the bottom countertops, but I do not like the cabinets on the top because of the frosted glass. I think it looks unrealistic, and people were, wouldn't really have that in their house. So, the next thing is spooky stuff, and I'm kind of grading these on without other packs in the game if you just got this pack. And if you just got spooky stuff, I would probably say it was pretty bad. Because you can't really do anything with it. You can carve pumpkins. The spooky parties are pretty cool. But nothing else. Okay. Next is movie hangout stuff. I like the build items. I've never went to a movie theater. So I probably put it at a meh. It's really colorful if you want to make a colorful house. And it really goes with the next pack. Which is romantic garden stuff. Which I would probably put at a meh too. Because I never really use it that often but it's really good and i'm looking more forward to using it in the future so next is kids room stuff what i would put out a must have the base game kids room furniture it's very basic and it's just like five colors and everything matches but in kids' room stuff, you can get a lot more things, and it's a lot more things for kids to do. Otherwise, it's just like a routine in the game, and it gets really, really basic, and you're just doing the same thing every day with your child. And I really like those, like, playing cards. I forget what they're called, but those playing cards are pretty cool. And the shelves that go on the, on the walls in the bedroom, in the kids' bedrooms, they're really cool, too. Backyard stuff, I would probably put this at an okay, because I really like the bird feeders and all the stuff in it. The only thing I don't like about this pack is the tables and stuff for outside. None of the swatches match any of the stuff we already have, so it's exclusively, like, if you had a, a backyard stuff table, you would have to use a backyard stuff chair, otherwise the woods wouldn't match. So that's kind of disappointing. Next is vintage glamour stuff, which really surprising. Everyone hates this pack usually and is kind of putting it at a meh, but I would put it at a must have because I use this pack in probably every single build. Like, I really love the end tables you can put um, at the end in the living rooms, and I really love everything about this pack butlers. Everything is spot on. Next is fitness stuff. I'll probably put it at a bat because most of the stuff in there is stuff that comes with base game. And the thing that makes them get up there is new stuff, new things that enhances gameplay, which fitness stuff, it doesn't really do that. Next is bowling night stuff, which I would probably put at a great because I like all the build items and stuff. And bowling is a really cool thing in the game. Except bowling, I wouldn't really go there in every single save I have. And I probably only went there a few times. But all the objects in bowling alleys are so great. And I love the objects because they're like a mid-century modern type. Alright, so next is toddler stuff. Which I would probably put at an okay because it has a lot of great stuff for toddlers, but not a lot that would really put it at a great. Next is Laundry Day stuff, which everyone loves this pack. It was a, it was a fan voted pack, so people get, got to vote on this pack and the icon and everything about it. And it's great. It's, the objects look great. They're really, really good. <laughs> but laundry in the game is a lot better than in other sims games if you don't have a laundry machine in the house the laundry won't pile everywhere so it's like you don't have to do laundry in every single game 
which if you do it in every game, it could get really annoying. So that's really nice. Last is my first pet stuff, which everyone put, which I'm saying everyone puts a lot, but everyone will put in a horrible because I know you have to buy cats and dogs and stuff, but I'm I'm thinking about what's actually in the pack right now. And I would say it's at an okay, which is really odd for a Sims player. But I really like the stuff in it. I feel like it really gives cats and dogs more of a personality and gives more objects. And I really like that bookshelf for the kids in there, the animal bookshelf. That's really cool, too. So I'm going to have to end this video now, so make sure you subscribe to my channel and leave a like and comment before you go. And I want to let you know who made this this thing, Fab, Fabby, Fabz, Fabzoga. I don't, I don't, I'm sorry, I don't know how to pronounce your name, but make sure you check them out. They make really great stuff. Because, clearly, because I'm using this, it's really great. If you want to make your own tier, please do that. And tell me your opinions in the comments below. Did you agree with me? Did you disagree with me? I want to hear everything. <laughs> Alright. So, I'll leave a link to this template in the description also. And make sure you see my next video, which will be going up on Tuesday. Have a nice day, everyone.